Hi, and welcome to this tutorial for MS100 course, Microsoft 365 Identity and Service. In this exercise, we will continue with Module 3, Lab 2, Exercise 1, Manage Administration Delegation. In this exercise, we will learn how to manage administration delegation by assigning Microsoft 365 Administrator roles to several users. We have three tasks within this exercise. Starting with task one, we will assign this role using Microsoft 365 Admin Center. With task two, we will assign the same role or different roles using Windows PowerShell. Using Windows PowerShell will give you the experience for using PowerShell to perform different type of administrative function. Moving to next task, verify delegate administration. Once we have assigned Microsoft Admin role to several existing user accounts, we will have then the option to test the assignment just to make sure the permission of the user and to verify the user have the right permission. Let's start with task one by going to Microsoft 365 Admin Center. In task one, we're going to start assign delegation for administration within Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We're going to start by logging to your Microsoft uh, account, moving down to on the left toolbar under user section by going to active user. As we can see using the active user, we have a different user. We're going to pick one of the user. And we can scroll down to the role. As we can see, the user doesn't have any administration role. So what we're going to do, we're going to start by clicking manage roles. Here we can add change user role. As we can see under the manage role dashboard, the user have no admin access. By clicking on admin center access, we have a different option. But what we are looking for, we are looking for billing admin. So, as we can see, we don't have it here by scrolling down to category. We can see it under the category. So, we're going to scroll down until we reach other. As we can see, we have a billing admin account. We're going to click on the billing admin, click save change. As we can see, the admin role already, already updated. Let's go back to the role. For the user, as we can see, the user now is a billing admin, which will be able to perform any billing function within your subscription. Let's close this one here and let's move to another user here. Performing the same task, as we can see, the user doesn't have any roles. We're going to click in the manage roles and we're going to do the same step by clicking on admin center access and as we can see we have a different option we are looking for the help desk admin we click in the help desk admin and we save the change the change is already saved by going back we can see that already we add a role to this user as a help desk admin and that was the task one for this exercise let's move to task two Let's continue with task two, assigning delegation administration using a Windows PowerShell. This task is similar to the previous task, which we will assign administrator right to the user. However, in this case, we'll use Windows Power for PowerShell to perform this function rather than using the admin center. Uh, by using a PowerShell, this will give you experience performing such type of management function within PowerShell. Since some administrators prefer to performing whatever type of functionality or management using the PowerShell, PowerShell enable you to display all the needed information to specific role. And this is what we're going to see within this exercise. Uh, let's start by copy the command connect to the MSOL. And this command will connect your Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft 365 subscription. Uh, 
as you can see I already connected let's use the second command sometimes we have to run a script so we need to unrestrict access to script as we can see whenever I copy I have an extra character here and to be able to run all the script or any type of configuration file we need to unrestrict the policy so we have the option we're gonna click A to unrestrict all the policy let's start by using the git command and as we know let me keep a space so the git command is a command which is very common use within PowerShell which show you information as we know we have different command git command add command or remove command by using this command this is a screen which I got it as we can see within this screen here if we if we maximize the screen here we have a different role here this is all the roles whatever report reader security operator administrator team service administrator all the administration list here so as you can see we have a large list of the command let's move to the next command and before we start with the next command which we're going to start adding and adding a new role to one of the user let's pick the user just to make sure that the user have no role as we can see under the role the user have no role as we used before the portal to add this time we're going to use the powershell to add the portal let me minimize this one and let's paste the command this is as we can see this is the add roles command i'm adding these roles which is a service support administrator to specific user which is this user As we can see, we already had the role. Let me go back to screen. Let me refresh the screen just to make sure everything is okay. And the command is already working. As we can see, the new user already have, which means the command is already working. We add a new role to the user, which is service support admin. Let's go back to our PowerShell. Within the next command, we're going to start getting more information. Let's start by adding a variable. As you can see, we add a variable for the new role. And let's get the car. get command for the different role. As we can see, this is the user which we just added in the previous. And we can see the user is already true. Of course, we have two options. You can go through the PowerShell using this command or going to the interface to make sure that the user got the right. Okay, let's use the same variable command to see another type of role, which is a billing administrator. I'm trying to paste the git command as you can see we have the same you have to pay attention always sometime when you copy and paste I have it in the script as we can see so I'm copy from the script paste it to the PowerShell uh, of course we have another option to run the entire script which show us all the information but uh, in this team I would like to go also one command at a time as we can see we are getting information about who is the billing administrator as you can see in this command we use a variable then we use a quick command in case you don't you if you don't want to use a variable we have the option to run such type of command which will get you all the information also can save it in any other location 
Let's move away to task 3. Let's start with task 3, verify delegated administration. In this task, we're going to go to active user. And we're going to look for one of the users. Let's pick this user here. As we can see, the user is a help disk user. It's already have the role. Okay, we're gonna. So let's try now to log out with this user account. I'm gonna sign out. And let me sign in again with this user account. So we're already logging with the user which is a help desk if we need to go back to let me close this one here to go back to any of the user here let me pick this user here and in this part here I'm assuming that one of the user here which is having or facing a problem with the password so is contact the help desk for resetting the password as we can see, I have the option to auto-generate a password or to create a password. Please make sure that we have a selected option here. The user will be able to change the password the next time the user log into the system. I already had the password, whatever the password is. As we can see, I don't have the appropriate permission to set because the admin roles only global admin can do that. Can we see the change here? As we can see with this error here, I got an error message here resetting the password. I'm a help desk, but still I can. Why? Because we are getting this message here. We don't have a create permission to reset the user. Why? Because the user have an admin role. Which means only global admin can do that. Let me go back. Oh, we can see that the role for this user is a billing admin one. Let's close this one. Let's go to another user. Let's feel, let's check first if we have an admin role. As we can see, this user have no admin roles. Let's go to the option to reset the password. I'm going to use the same password. Copy and paste. Click reset the password. As we can see, I was able to reset the password. And this is the main difference, ladies and gentlemen, between user which have an admin role and user which doesn't have an admin role. As a help desk, you will be able to reset the password for a user which have no admin role. In case the admin role, you need a global admin account to be able to reset the user password. And that was our exercise for today about delegation user administration. We're done with the three tasks. Thank you and see you in the next exercise.